Hello everyone, I'm Senor Mokalabar, and thank you for joining me here in the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, Clelox's Demise. So, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail, as well as from the title, we are playing as a certain somebody, certain nation, and yes, the color scheme somehow in Old World Blues is absolutely wild right now. I don't know why the NCR is purple, I don't know why Heaven's Kate is black. But doesn't matter. So, let's go ahead and go with the custom game rules. I've already loaded a preset. And as you can tell, like I said from the thumbnail, from the title, we're playing as the good, the dastardly, revolutionary Zapata. So, from Broken Coast, we'll go with Ragnar's Power, Kaza's Legion Brotherhood, Chichen Itza Kalomte, Costa Cafenada, Independent, Desert Rangers will become the Nevada Pact with New Reno. The Free Fighters will go with the Blue Demon, the Great Concert will stay with Papa, Mojave Chapter will stay with El... Uh, Elijah, New Vegas. I have the Courier 6 mod still on. They're probably not going, going to go down that path. I can't choose it for them right now. Sucks. We'll see what happens. Speaker for Nueva Atzalan. Republica, the Rio Grande. Mora, Tierra. We're playing as a Fox. Tlalocan. Well, I'm not going to boost anybody. So, Joel Warren, Betty, Vault City, doesn't matter. However, with Tlalocan, we will start immediately with his children in rule. But let's go ahead and get started now. I have played as Tlalocan before, and I'm not really playing as him now. I don't want to spend five episodes just trying to get to the point where our Mexican daddy goes bye-bye. So, we're going to go ahead and do it immediately. Bye-bye, Mexican daddy. I love you so very much. You have a very interesting face. But now we must use console commands, because we want to tag over to Mr. Revolutionary himself, Zapata. He has an insane AI. Ah, first focus, though. The death of Tlaloc. Zapata was the third son of Tlaloc, created to handle Mexico's northwest frontier, a land of cartels, slavers, and other autocrats. Tlaloc calculated that the Mexican best suited to oppose these barbarians were, was Zapata, a Mexican revolutionary from the early, I thought, 20th century. I'm pretty sure that Mexican revolution happened in the early 20th century. But then again, who am I except an American? Um, I'm pretty sure it happened with Pancho Villa there. Oh, Pancho Villa! Pancho Villa! There you are, my friend. Cool. Um, do that. Do that. We're going to train a couple revolutionary robot divisions. That'd be great. Uh, you know what? Get it down to two. Guard, make only one for now because we don't have many supplies. But first, we'll do some research. Go ahead and start doing some robotic stuff for our land doctrine with human targeting firmware. Next up, we'll focus very hard on Ohm's Law. And then reinforcement can wait because we're going to do tool procurement. Construction basics and then... Industry planning. Next up, we only have three military factories. We'll go with guns, a bot, and then another bot. Good. Uh, do it like that. That should be okay. We have two of these. I'm not going to use those garbage canoes. Long holes for life, and we're going to put them in Agua. Yeah, Agua. Um, let's go ahead and start building up some civilian factories. I'm not sure if this will be necessary or not, but let's do it anyways, and let us get the show on the road. I am not going to play as Maximilian or the other guy, Moctezuma, and I failed. That is okay. Now go ahead and do this. Ah, the death of Tlaloc. Emiliano Zapata was a hero of the Mexican Revolution and advocate for land reform, equality for all Mexicans, and, of course, good old democracy. Naturally, he was a symbol to many who resisted America's pre-war occupation, and most of Tlaloc's image of this man was filtered through this lens. The American databases, uh, through them, Tlaloc had access to portray Zapata as a radical communist who wanted to redify Mexico instead of one of many Mexicans who fought for a more equal, just society. This meant that the AI Zapata quickly outgrew his original mandate of protecting the frontier through human resources management and instead of dreamed of a Mexican revolution. But how did he pursue this? Did he give land or did he recognize that justice comes from a, a rifle in one's hands? Well, right now, we're currently using seven. That ain't bad. Could I use more military factories? Absolutely. We actually have the supplies for it, and that could help us produce more robots. You know what? He recognized that justice comes from a rifle in one's hands. Screw it. Let's do it. Breaking the chains. Break the chains. Before Tlaloc's death, the Legion encroached on northern Mexico and actually invaded the Republic of the Rio Grande. Hey, look, there's a typo there. How did Zapata? How did Zapata? I'll respond. Very nice, very nice. 
I have never played as a Zapata before. Actually, as far as I know, a lot of people have never played as a Zapata before. But then again, who am I? And you know what? Our chains are broken. It To die a slave to principles, not to men. Although Guerra and the Rio Grande's leadership were convinced that they defeated the Legion single-handedly, they ignored Zapata's role. During the Legion invasion, Zapata did what? Did he launch surgical strikes on Legion supply depots? Or provided Gloria with intelligence? Ah, uh, we revolutionaries are very, very smart. Next up, let's see. Right now we have seven. That's not bad. We have a very nice amount of stability and war support. I like that. That being said, do we want more civilian factories now or red guards or class struggle? I think a good opening move would be class struggle. That sounds like fun. So, before Zapata can free the people of Mexico, he must win the class struggle in his own Heartland. Absolutely positively. Let's get another general. Benjamin Sedgwick. I'm not sure if that sounds very Hispanic or Mexican, but I'm going to roll with it. Cool. We get about 1.18 political power a day. Very nice. Very nice. No, Nothing is uncored so far. We need to make so many guns, but we're making at least more robots. We, got, we doubled the amount of factories we had on our robot... Uh, Equipment production line. Very nice. Uh, obviously, Maximilian has sent a few divisions to guard our line as well. What are they up to? The Coronation. And the Republic is up to Industrial Subsidies. Uh, you guys are doing Erecting a Palisade. Build a Wall, basically. Funding the schools. Actually, do you have your own focus tree? Um, yeah, you kind of do. That's pretty cool. Well, kind of. Well, kind of. Not really. Yeah, not really. Uh, that's kind of disappointing. Oh, well. Whatever. Oh, we have enough political power for Petro Chico Air. Better fire production, that'd be nice, but um, I don't have that many factories right now, I'm not going to lie. Desert Rangers declare war on the Jackals, very nice. And I'll be honest, these colors are absolutely wild. Now, I'll let you know, I'm using the mod compilation for Old World Blues, number two. Um, has a bunch of different focus trees and paths for a bunch of different nations. I also use Courier 6 in this campaign as well, just because, well... I would have liked to see them go with Courier 6, but god dang it, they went with all authority. Regardless, we got some research slots we could use. Let's go with Improvised Tools. Next up, Work As Needed, because the other one is okay and not great. Woodworking, very good. And then, Organized Agriculture, as we're still developing our human targeting firmware. Very good. Not too bad. Yeah, the colors... I, I've never seen the colors go this crazy. And I do have the uh, North Pole Enclave up here as well, so... Um, yeah. Break the cartels, open the stockpiles. Hmm. We could use more robots immediately. Tlaloc spent the last 200 years building robots for a war that never came. Well, never came when he was around. Usually in the early game, I go for the things that can build up factories as fast as possible. But, um, lessons from the French army. You never know what might happen. And I want to go to war with people fairly quickly if I can. So, I usually don't do that. I mean, these divisions are eh, not great. But whatever. Revolutionaries, these are definitely better than the infantry so far. They're only 13 and a half combat width. Uh, go ahead and do that. I want to make sure these guys get supplies whenever they can first before everyone else. Uh, we'll see what happens though. With Tlaloc dead and his sons basically ready to kill each other, we'll see what happens. Um, I need a new general. Chester Mitchell. Hello, Chester. You look like a ghoul. Very nice, very nice. And Holy cow, that's early. That's really early. She, she, you're usually red, but now you're puke green. And I do apologize if these colors are kind of maybe too bright. I, I, I loaded up Old World Blues, and I don't understand why it's like this. Then again, I do have my Steam account set to offline mode, so... I don't know. I really don't know. But we've got to keep an eye here on what these people are doing. Reestablish the Reclamation Bureau. Friends of the Tribes. Interesting. Friend of the tribes. Huh. God dang, she. You definitely wanted to go bye-bye. Organize agriculture. Very good. Let's get some seed selection. God dang. I've never seen a purple republic. That's just like, oh my gosh. Please, Kaiser, Just take him out. Take him out. And there goes the Iron Alliance. Oh my goodness. New Sterling. Oh boy. Oh. We get some army XP. 0 0.02 a day. Nice. Very nice. Where do we get that from? Steel Legions? No. Adva Where do we get that from? Huh. Interesting. Very, very interesting. 
Anybody want to go to war yet? Construct new armories. Very nice. And open the stockpiles. Very good. We could rebuild roads. That's kind of nice. Um, Red Guard sounds like a lot of fun. But his lovers? Muy bueno, my friends. Muy bueno. Worker militias. Very good. The Rising Star. The revolution is not yet lost. Actually could be really, really good. I'm probably going to not do a lot of this stuff on the defense protocols. They're okay. They're not bad. But we can wait on that. Rebuilding the roads sound like fun. Uh, arms workshops. Civilian workshops. Uh, that's not bad. Um, you know, let's get to civilian factories. Ejercito Libertador del Sur can help fund the peasants of Mexico and their new collectives. And their increased productivity will benefit the revolution, too. And you know what? We have enough political power for me to go ahead to research focus for more daily army XP gain and research time for all of our doctrines. Oh my goodness. Aggressive. I like the aggression. Because I already checked this out. These ministers, well, they help us build more civilian factories and infrastructure and other dockyards and military factories, but um, we'll be okay for now. You really gotta keep an eye on everyone else. Oh, wow, that takes a while. Ah, there goes the Washington Brotherhood being very aggressive. I just want to keep an eye on what everyone is doing around us. You never know. Oh, that is not a good picture. YouTube or bitch. Well, YouTube won't like that. Maybe. I don't care, though. Bitch, you doesn't care. So I should die. Empower the mayor. Free Fighters, the bazaar. Ooh. I have never played as a Free Fighters. Wrestle mongers. The cartel we will need to take out in time. Las Granjas. Ranchers. New Vegas. Why, why can't you ever choose this path? Please. And I will choose this path in time, but I'm saving it for a special little event. So. Resource-wise, we're not doing too bad. Support robots are actually doing a lot better than I imagined. It's a good thing you have military factories. Or we have military factories. That's really, actually pretty nice. Combat robots not doing bad. Um, I'm making, I'm going to make some infantry divisions as well. In time, I might just make a pure infantry army. Maybe. Uh, there is 11% world tension 717 1017 you definitely have more divisions than us Moctezuma has not nearly the same amount they have more manpower and what are these robots like holy cow that could be a lot of robots I, I kind of want to go to war immediately but that might not be the smart thing to do it might be the fun thing to do what if I want to go to war with these guys I know I have a war justification goal on them later on but uh I'm a little tempted. Actually, you know what? I'm extremely tempted right now. I'm extremely tempted to go to war with them. Oh, wait. They still have the Protector's Guarantee. That doesn't make any sense. Why they still have that. If anything, I'm going to put these robots... Oh, you know what? Usually when I start off as the pot, though, um, these guys, Maximilian, usually goes to war with the Republic of the Rio Grande immediately. So, I'm not sure why they didn't go that way, but... It doesn't matter. Let's get some dynamic tactics integration for even more breakthrough organization as well as max speed. That's why I'm taking a look at all these focuses to see where people are going. Ah, good. More civilian factories. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let us next get... Break the cartels. That's not bad. We could destroy the vice royalty later on. Doesn't ma matter to me. War support. That's okay. We, we're doing pretty well already. How about we... Uh, I'm probably not going to spend a lot of time on this side of the focus tree until everything else is done. It's okay. They're not bad. I like the stuff, but... Red Guards sound like fun. Communes? Eh, let's do that. Red Guards. Zapata can form a paramilitary course consisting of those who subscribe to neo-syndicalist Zapatan thought. All candidates must, of course, explain it to Zapata, who knows what it entails but won't tell you. Oh, you must discover what it is. You must do your research before we can let you in and become a very good syndicalist. Um, let's go ahead and grab division training time, because why not? Robotics? Can I do anything here yet? Nope. 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 Do I have anything over here? I'd love Securitrons, but I'm not playing as New Vegas. No, no, no. Planes aren't bad. Those are actually very useful. Uh-oh. I went a day over. My bad. Oh, well. Let's get some reinforced rate. Very nice, very nice. Energy cells are doing okay. We definitely need more combat robots. And we do have one of you guys. Nice. Go ahead and just kind of train. We could use a bunch of naval XP, I'm sure, under Luke Caldwell. We get about 0.3 a day. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty darn good. Very nice. Very good. I mean, 
we do this long enough, we get a ton of naval XP. And it looks like they are only using infantry, which is very good for us. And they don't seem to be very strong. Three to five to seven infantry battalions? If they can't pierce us, they're going to have a, a, a lot of problems. Let's go ahead and do resistor. I like more research speed. Um, I mean, obviously, we don't have enough robots yet, but as long as the infantry can hold in the south, these guys are going to have a bad time. And we're building up these light cruisers pretty quickly. I mean... They're kind of trash, but that means the AI also uses trash, and that's could, that could be worse. Could be much worse. Can I go ahead and upgrade whatever we have? I'd like another ore, please. Thank you. Um, you know what? Get rid of you. There you go. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Let's let time go on for now. The Red Guards are doing well. It will cost us more to get military leaders, but we do get more attack on core territory and defense, which is not bad. Which isn't bad whatsoever. I'd like to go to early mobilization, though. Oh, we're almost done with the civilian factory. Very good. Very, very good. How is the stockpile of stuff going on? Not bad. Advice royalty, as long as they're not guaranteed by anybody or in an alliance. If we take them out, we get a whole military factory. Five dockyards, nice. And a couple more civilian factories. That's not bad. Settler Nation, Scavenger City, Advanced Research Speed, even more research speed, and more entrenchment. Ah, they erected a wall. Oh, fellas, 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 fellas. Red guards, very good. Uh, anything here? Nope. Anything here? Nope. Anything here? Medium deck weaponry? Very nice. Throw you on there next. En Agua? And only make one of you guys, because I don't want to ruin that uh, production stuff so far. So, we could get party advisors for 10% more stability. We already have 95%. Pre-war thought isn't bad. Lose stability in exchange for consumer goods. Chinese ties for even more consumer goods, or less consumer goods, for more stability and less stability at the same time. Hmm. Coffee cooperatives. I like that. More construction speed. Cyber democracy is really good to get right now. The revolution is not yet lost. Let's do that. Establish the communes. The people of Mexic Mexico need to break their shackles of tyranny and organize under free and autonomous communes. Amen. Very good, and we shall hopefully do fairly well against the vice royalty, these oppressors, the tyrannical oppressors under Juan Martin Villegas. I have no idea how to pronounce that. And I'm just doing my best. Do they have a focus street? No, they do not. That is a little disappointing. But erecting a palisade, that's kind of nice. Plus five entrenchment, that's nothing to scoff at. But we do have combat language, so we can get a little bit more of a secret language. Very good. Keep building up, guys. Keep building up as we watch the wasteland, or at least Kaiser, slowly kill off hairs that are twisted. Anything else going on? Is the Washington Brotherhood as at peace? This is this is on, almost honestly a little bit too colorful for me for a wasteland. I mean, yeah, this area got nuked to hell, but uh, it's a little bright for my liking. <laughs> it's a wee bit bright. I'm not sure why. That's okay. Now we have ten naval XP. Ah. Oh. Beautiful. Point of fence, that one... Yeah, nothing's going to really change here. Word of mouth is going to stay the same. Everything else is going to stay the same, because i got nothing really else to use with it. we got plenty of energy cells, even though we're training stuff. That's okay with me. We're going to make another infantry division here soon, which is good. Robots do not use infantry equipment, which is good. They just use a ton of robots. Ah, resistors. Very good. Let's go ahead and grab some reference manuals and keep speeding on through this. Oh... The red shirts. I love the red shirts. Secret language? Yes, please. It is October 2275. Go ahead and get some more construction speed. I don't mind if it's a little bit ahead of time. I mean, we are we have five research slots. I believe that we are advanced. Yep, we're advanced, so that's very nice. Uh, oh, that infantry division is here. Nice. Go ahead and throw you down there, guys. Throw you down there. I don't want to use too much infantry. It does cost quite a bit of manpower when you use that much infantry. And I just realized we had enough of this. Uh, how many more days until we go to war with you all? About 100-ish. You guys are doing guns for the Emperor. You are doing fighter schematics. You guys are fuel for the flight. For the fight. Industrial concerns, that's okay. Support equipment time, that's okay. Petro Chico Air isn't bad. Um, I like Captain of Industry, but I do want to get down to the here as fast as possible, but let's go ahead and do that. This will help out in the super long term, and we also get another 100 political power from doing establishing the commune, so that's pretty nice. 
Oh, very good, very, very good. So we've got Benjamin, who's digging in. We've got Pancho Villa, who should absolutely do well against these guys. And led by Chester. Good name, Chester. Good name. Um, Kaiser. Child soldiers. Not bad. Ah, the communes are here. I want to get down here as fast as possible. So, the coffee cooperatives. One of the founding principles of neo-anarcho-zapatismo thought is the formation of agricultural cooperatives. And no crop is more important than what I love, and that's coffee. Coffee cooperatives would let Mexico's people free themselves from Costa Cafe's capitalist exploitation and will taste pretty damn good in the morning. Absolutely. Absolutely. Positively. Now I kind of wish I had some here too. But we must first grow the crop so I can drink some coffee. Even though I'm a robot. Yeah. Yeah. I am an insane AI, so I'm not... Hmm. Oh, almost let it go over by day. But I caught it. Pretty good. Um, reinforce rate. That, that would take too long. Um, we could do research stuff. How about dynamite? I am using infantry, so we might want to make just a wee bit of dynamite. Gliders, good. Military training. Go ahead and do that. Can we do anything else here? Nope. Scout kits. I really probably won't need, need that too much. Um... That's a little bit ahead of time. Trireams would be actually pretty good to research now. Uh, do local workspaces. Let's get some more output going. How about that? You guys are up to guns for the Emperor still. What is Santa Ana up to? Ending the raids. Moctezuma is doing... Oh, you're not Moctezuma. You're doing capital refurbishments. Speaker. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. What is going on? Flower Wars. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. I just saw... Wait, uh, Okay, so they want to go to war with Petro Chico. Pietro Chico. We like you, Petro. You're very weird. El Cillo. Oh, there goes Washington Brotherhood. I don't know why we still have the Protector's Guarantee. Um, The Protector is... Bye-bye? Uh, Wait, why can't you... Uh-oh. Oh, you're doing stuff down here. Educate on extraction methods. The Great Protector. Deal with them. Invest. Invest. Deal with. Taking the mantle. Nice. Oh, you have armed forces, too. Very cool. Oh, and I am way over this. How many more days? Because I do want to go lower my... Or increase my mobilization. Um, I still have time to... There's nothing I can do with this stuff, which sucks. Oh, I got a lot of stability, though. That's kind of nice. I want partial mobilization at the very least before I switch. And if we're going to attack, to be honest with you... We might as well get more speed and plus 10% more attack. I like that. Let's get more, 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 more attack. And then I'll probably do industrial concerns. That's probably pretty good to do. Um, we have a small, a tiny stockpile of support robots. Very nice. Very, very nice. We definitely want to use those in time. We're not going to make gliders. I'm probably going to use, if we're using air forces in this campaign, we're probably going to use... Actually, what are we going to use? I was thinking about tactical bombers, but you know what? You know what? What if I went with combat blimps? You got robots and blimps doing a number of damage on enemies. Oh, hello, shippy. 30 naval XP. Still 0.3 a day. Not even losing energy cells. Ah, Mexico, you have stolen my heart. All right, next. Cyber democracy. neo Zapatnismo thought requires every person to vote. Everyone is forced to vote. All such votes will be counted by Zapata, and any wrong votes will be dealt with accordingly. Amen. Oh, good. Dynamic tactics integration. Troll war and declare war on the rib breakers. Followed up with... Oh, this is a decision. Marching... Well, do we want automated distribution or quality? Frankly, I like quality more. Quantity is okay. I don't like attrition or lowering attrition. I'd rather have less supply consumption. So, really, attrition means very little to me. Rush production. Less soft attack for more cap and growth. Oh, I don't want to lose soft attack, baby. No, no, Zapata ain't about that. He's about that quality robot with field maintenance for less supply use as well as less energy cell usage. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Just because you can make a lot of something doesn't mean it's good. No, 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 no. no. And, of course, when we attack these guys, it will have to be very calculated because, well, they got, like, three divisions down here. Now they're all infantry. They won't be able to pierce us. I hope. But you never know. But you never know. Um, you know what? In the meantime, 
Oh, I could raise these guys. Revolutionaries. Organization isn't bad. If I throw another light robot, that will stop how many divisions we're making currently. It will lower my armor, my piercing. If I throw another heavy robot, that will lower our organization. Um, just just do what we're doing right now. They they probably won't be able to pierce us. I mean, you do have 21 armor. That's not bad. Uh, Guardia. Infantry equipment. Infantry equipment, I'm not really too worried about. If anything, I guess you could throw one more on there. It does help soft attack just a wee bit. I need 200 more infantry equipment, which will come in time. I mean, we make like one a day. It's not great. It's really not great. It could be much worse. Yeah, do that. Oh, peace conference. And there goes the hairs. It took them an entire year pretty much to do that. Revolutionary coffee. Very nice. Oh, we got more factories too to work with. Good. We'll keep building stuff up. Keep building up. Build, build, build. Please just keep making more. Nice. We only need six more heavy robots until we're there. Or at least for the next division. And we can go to war with these guys immediately. Well, let's see what happens if I go to war. But before I do that, you guys need to stop training and repair. Now, this might be a terrible idea. But the revolution must burn. And initially, we are doing very well. The revolutionaries are killing the enemies, the tyrants, the oppressors. Actually, both of you could do this. Actually, you know what? You might just tell them all to go. Dinamite. Very nice. Very nice. I love Dinamite. Um, engineering stuff. Yeah, get some better reinforced rate. If we want to go to war with someone else... I'm not going to go to war with these guys around here just yet. Moctezuma, crush... That might be a little early if you're also justifying for Petro Chico. Uh, Maximilian, drain the Valley of Mexico. Oh, you guys are doing okay. Beyond the Rio Grande. You have a lot of national spirits. Ooh, Texas secessionists. Oh, I'm a good old rebel. Uh, hire gunsmiths. That's not bad. I could go to war with you. Oh, you got a lot of divisions. Never mind. Hmm. Republic of the Rio Grande. Oh, the Texan Arms Association. Oh, I didn't put on the mod that gives these guys a focus tree. I do want to play as them sometime. And you're purple. Why are you purple? Actually, that's not a bad color, considering the colors around you. Um, I'm not sure who to go to war with. Because Moctezuma might go to war with these guys down here. I might join the war against Moctezuma. But for now, let's save what we have. And instead, go to partial mobilization. Good. Let the robots do what they're doing. They're doing fine. Port Mall has annex. Good. Good. You know what? You might be able to pull a sneaky on him. Everyone else is distracted. Pull the sneaky. And you know what? You guys can probably do convoy raiding. There you go. You're not getting attacked over here. That's fine. Clay working. Very nice. Plant cultivation. Sounds good to me. Oh, you're getting attacked immediately. You guys are moving down south. That's awesome. Um, if anything, go ahead and tell these guys to hold. Awesome. Oh, you already made it. Nice. You guys get down here. I want to encircle these two divisions. Bone Dancers declare war in the Yakima Nation. Very good. Very good. We're doing fairly well. I'm sure we have a deficit of robots right now. That's okay. Oh, we have Cyber Democracy. Established trade routes, which does what? Does it give them more infrastructure? Good. And we shall next do... The revolution is not yet lost. The people of Mexico will not let something as minor as a nuclear war stop the march to revolution. The nation will devote all of its resources to building a communist society as soon as we understand what that actually means. Very nice. So far we're doing very, very well. Very, very bueno. Now, we don't want to push too hard. We lost three guys compared to 236. I, oh, there goes the North, North Pole Enclave. Now, I don't want to overextend myself. And there goes the North Pole Enclave again. I do not want to capitulate them too quickly. Guys. Oh, my God. This is probably one of the best times to go to war with him. How much does it cost me? 41. 41 political power. Can I hold on for 41 days? I could strike him in the back. Oh, is it worth it? We're going to risk it. We're going to risk it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to capitulate these guys too quickly. I want them to get through their... Oh, they went, They already got through their focus, so they got a little bit more infrastructure that I don't have to manually build up myself. That's okay if they came here, because... Oh, well, I wanted to encircle and destroy, but whatever. Motorized flight. Very good. Industry. Let's grab that basic tools. 
Ah, local workspaces. Good. Energy cell conversion speed. We'll definitely need that. Resistors. That can wait. This can wait. Don't want to go over time. Ah, oh, more max speed? Reliability. Protect run twos. Let's get a little bit more speed. Robatos for the win. You guys have still quite a bit of manpower, which is fine. Totally expected. You guys are fighting. We have quite a bit of army XP. I haven't encountered enemy ships around here just yet. Where are my ships? Yeah, you're down here somewhere. Yeah, you're down here. Uh, patrol, perhaps? The Forum. You guys will definitely be able to take these guys out. We are running out of robots just a little bit, which is a little bit of a concern of mine, but... It could be much, 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 much worse. Go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and engage them. They do not have enough resources. The Forum is a frontline city. Um, I, They will, probably won't get any help. We might want to let them do Gunrunners. Yes, we want them to do Gunrunners before we take the Forum. And 30 days, just because... Moctezuma. Moctezuma. My brother. Brother. Why? Why do you do this? Ooh, if anything, cut off the forum. Now that is risky business. I, I Just hold on. I want to take you out. I, if anything, I want to get at least a Leon. Ooh, a ship. Very nice. Um, do you have any upgrades? Have you found anything? You have no experience. All right, well, I cut off the forum. Actually, that's really good. Uh, you guys, go ahead and do convoy rating. You might be able to sink some convoys since these guys are cut off, which is very bueno. If that's the case, take half. Oh, that might be too many folks doing that. Let's have a little bit of fun with these guys. We want them to finish up their stuff. We've only lost three guys, so which is amazing. There goes Khazar's Legion. Next up, come on. Finish that up, finish that up, finish that up. Do not die, Moctezuma. You're not allowed to die. I want Leon before you die. Uh, got to love it, my friends. Got to love it. Oh, Desert Rangers, very nice. Can 1v1... Can you, can you do that? Vault City's going to war with Antelope Tribes. They can not pierce us. The revolution is not yet lost. Next up we will do... Ooh, Zapata's Lovers. Break the cartels. Let's do that. Zapata will go to war to destroy the cartels that plague the people of Mexico. Absolutely, positively... Ah, oh, very good. Very, very good. The forum will fall pretty easily. Ooh, another infantry division. Good. Come on. You know what? I'll help them out down here first a little bit. Hurry up and speed up their decline. I will end the episode soon, as soon as these guys are gone. Nice. Which means now you are the game to attack. Let's see, did they build up? Yes, they did. They're building a wall. That's okay with me. Go ahead and take them out. Oh, and before we take them out... Let's at least go to partial mobilization. Nice. Ah, uh, the forum is about to fall. Very good. You guys move straight on in. Actually, I didn't realize there was a border wall, the wall there. And are they gone yet? No, we have to get to this area. That's okay. That's totally okay with me. Ah, smoke signals. Nice. All right. Keep up production of destroying them. That'd be great. Destroy these guys. You can send your divisions elsewhere. Um, half you guys hold and actually come down here. Good. Plant cultivation. Uh, you know what? Go ahead and grab multi-purpose equipment. We're definitely going to need that in time. You guys are doing a great job. We've lost probably four, five, three. They've lost almost 900, which is great. Nice. And immediately go down this way when you get there. Good. Yes, they want to come up north. I don't really care. Let them in. Good. We got that division over here anyways. Very nice. Good, you're going that way, you're going that way. Help out up here. Come on, oh, we really don't need that many more victory points to win this war. Good. Desert Vipers, go, go, go. We will win very soon. All I needed was infantry to hold the line up here. That's all I needed. You guys are going to finish up very soon. Give them more force attack. This is going to be very bad for our robots, and that's okay. Go ahead and help them out. Don't give them any time to heal. We probably lost three. Okay, we still lose only three. Good. 
Oh, those guys are dying like crazy. And the Vice Royalty is ours within the first episode. Very good, but that's all the time for that we have today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the expansion of Zapata's Lands. Well, if you did, maybe, perhaps, leave a like. If you're new on my channel, yeah, maybe subscribe. Check out my Discord link below. And, like I said earlier, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you all tomorrow as we spread anarcho-Zapatanism. Thanks for watching.